Uh, hello everybody and welcome back to Dragon's Dogma 2. What we are doing in this video is something that is very specific. Uh, we're doing two things. One, testing Pure Dark's uh, DLSS 3 enabler. And uh, I'm already seeing some decent good results. And two, I'm testing to see if I can skip the entire tutorial slash uh, prologue. So, again, this is a new save. We had 200 frames previously. We seem to be jumping all over the place. So I'm not sure. Come on. <laughs> Alright, we, we don't really care about creating character right now. Just give me something. I honestly don't care at this point. The, I'm recording this after doing the Kremiel uh, start. So... Bear with me just, oh my god, just a little bit. Okay, let's, uh, we do need to, okay, it's giving me a random name, it's fine, very good. Alright. I ill like that look in your eyes, to most of your kind, there's aught, diff worry not, Vest, come along. So again, I'm, I'm on 2K, max settings, okay, 2K, max settings, quality DLSS, and using Pure Dark's uh, DLSS 3 enabler. Or so he says that it enables uh, the LSS3. I'm not seeing any performance increase in the actual game, however. Uh, these are my settings. 144 Hz, max 120. Exact same settings as in my other video on performance check. Just everything cranked up to max, okay? And 2K borderless. Um, if anything, might actually have a little, a little bit of a f extra frame drops. Now, what I'm gonna try as well is to turn on NVIDIA game filter. Damn, this actually works. So, fun fact, I have tried to add the, what's it called? Reshade. Game insta crashes on Capcom logo screen, so that's not gonna work. You can, however, do this, interestingly enough. Let's, let's do this. Okay. Okay, damn. Uh, sure. So you can put game filter on. NVIDIA's game filter does in fact work. Uh, I have literally just updated my driver. Might have forgotten. So we got game filter going as well, currently. I may have to tone down the sharpening. Let me keep 50%, because that seems sensible. 100 was way too much. So what I'm trying to do right now is to skip this prologue. What the game has you doing is following a guy named Rook and doing a rock quest. So I'm going to try to skip that. Let's see if it actually works. Uh, I haven't seen anybody try this yet, so... I'll try to go directly for the, the dive into the water. See if the game lets me. I'm trying to move. Y'all just showed me a cutscene. Also, I was not aware that is the Gorgon you're about to be fighting. So, keep in mind that if this does in fact work, you'll also probably skip the Gorgon fight. Just saying. Do your injuries pain you? There's Rook. You ought not anger the overseer. Let us proceed to the site. I'm not sure if... Uh... Wait, NVIDIA game filter is captured by OBS right now. Yes, it is. Oh wow, that's actually a huge difference. The game's so blurry default, holy. Okay. I did not realize how blurry the actual game is. So. That's where the game wants you to go. This is the direction I was, well, wanting to go last time. And I did not. I don't care. I'm gonna just run off. We'll see if the game actually lets me run off. Will you let me skip the entire prologue and the Gorgon tutorial fight? Damn, so I can just do this, huh? 
Yo, hold up, you can actually skip this. Bro, Capcom. Let's go. Never mind. You cannot skip. You cannot skip. That is actually sad, bro. So you can't skip this. Damn, that's crazy. Well, I hope they add the skip here. Uh, they are looking to fix bugs. Let me try again. Nah. Nah, I'm not allowed to jump. The game does not let you jump yet. And falling does not work. So you may actually need to unlock jumping before this. Damn, that's crazy, bro. Also extremely annoying. Let me see how this looks with the game filter off. Jesus. It is so blurry. It is so blurry. I may have too much clarity, though. But anyway. I'm rambling a little bit too much. Okay, I feel like this looks way better. Uh, yeah. This was me trying to skip the prologue of the game. You're apparently not allowed. This was also the DLSS 3 enabler from Pure Dark, and I think I'm getting around an extra 30 FPS in some some areas, some instances. What I also want to do is test this with my Cremiel save. So if you'll give me a couple of a uh, couple of seconds, uh, I will return the title screen without saving. I'm gonna switch saves. I'm going on to the Cremiel one. Back to Vern. Okay. Back to Vernsworth, rather. Let's see now, where's the actual... There we go, let me delete this real quick. Let me do this. Let's see if the game lets me load from last save. Without actually exiting game. Failed to load save data. Okay, so I, I do have to... I do have to do this. So, here's the DLSS 3 enabler from Pure Dark. Let me close this cord real quick. Here's hoping the game uh, loads... Or rather compiles shaders faster than it did last time. I want to check Vernsworth performance with the DLSS 3 enabler inside the game. Because uh, during recording, I've actually dipped as low as 44 frames in Vernsworth, which is the city. Okay. No shader compiling. That's good. That's good. Uh, if you do have the shader cache off, then you may have to recompile shaders. Alright, there we go, back into Cremiel 1. And let's see if we dip into 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 the 40s. Damn, that's crazy, I'm stable 70, kinda. So, here is the exact place where I dipped into 44 frames. Let's check my graphics. Making sure everything's right. Uh, let's put this to 144. See if that affects anything. Okay, so we are maxed. That is crazy, bro. Alright. Rare Pure Dark W. Because this one was free. Okay. Uh, Pure Dark does have the DLSS uh, files for a lot of games. But... His thing is mostly, well, you gotta mostly pay on a monthly basis on Patreon to unlock those, which is kind of cringe. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I will link Pure Dark's DLSS 3 enabler, because this does in fact seem to help. I Again, I dipped as low as 44 frames, so I'm seeing an extra 20 at least in uh, in Vernsworth. 
So, do get it. Keep in mind, I'm on quality DLSS Max graphics. Ray tracing on. Okay. 2K, ray tracing on. I'm sticking to 144 hertz on max 120 FPS locked with VSync on. Okay. As low as 59. That's still an extra 15 frames in Wernsworth. Okay. It's, it's very stable right now, actually. 58. It, it, it's a 58, still not a 44. Okay. It's kind of weird, but it is what it is. Not sure why this is not enabled by default. 56. It's still not 44. It's still an extra 12 frames. Okay? And you won't be sitting here all the damn time. You're, you're gonna be moving, you're gonna be fighting. What if I start hitting? Let's see, if I start hitting in here, will anything go lower? Do I get lower frames for hitting? Doesn't seem like I do. So we had a, as low as 56, 55. That's still an extra 11 frames I'm getting by just getting the DLSS 3 enabler. 51. Uh, it, it's still an extra 7. <laughs> I'm just saying, you kind of feel the difference, okay? From 44 to 57, from 44 to 51, it, it's still a big difference, is what I'm trying to say. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and... Uh, Darn shame you can't skip, but at the same time, do get the LSS3 enabler if you want better performance.